Welcome, neighbors, to Hometown Earth, the podcast that brings a down-to-earth approach to all of your sustainability questions. I'm your host, Lena Sanford, here on the Believe Podcast Network, the number one podcast network for professionals. Here, we believe that everyone can change the world. Do you believe? I'm a Midwest gal with big dreams to discover what it takes to reduce my impact on this beautiful place we call Hometown Earth. Join me every Tuesday as we navigate what actions we can take, big or small, to make a positive impact in your life and the lives of your neighbors on Hometown Earth. Hello, neighbors. I am so excited to move into 2022 with you. At the beginning of every new year, I list goals that pertain to each area of my life written in neat little categories so that I can stay organized. But one thing I've noticed the past few years is how a common thread connects my goals, the drive to live a happier, healthier life. I think that's what most of us actually want. So you might nod your head when I say that you might want to adopt a sustainable lifestyle or maybe you've already started doing so because you want to find deeper purpose or meaning in your life. You want to make healthy choices because you know that they make you happy, improving not only your physical but mental health. You want to deepen your connections with yourself and others because there is a richness in authentic relationships that makes you feel more alive. You want to see a beautiful world that isn't ravaged by climate change and pollution. You not only want to see a world where people aren't unjustly harmed or taken advantage of, but where we can all thrive and enjoy the wonders that this earth gives us every single day. Does that sound about right? Sustainable living is a goal that many people have shown an interest in taking on. One global study shows that 61% of people are interested in reducing their impact on the environment and living a sustainable lifestyle that will improve their health, the health of the planet, and the health of others. But there's a gap because only 31% of people say that they have actually made a significant change to do so. People who aren't adopting a sustainable lifestyle, who are capable and have the means to do so, aren't doing it for a couple of reasons. One, they put off doing what they think might be too challenging. Two, they think it might cost them something, whether that be time or money, and they aren't sure about the investment. And three, they're too vague and don't have a plan, or they don't know where to start. But I've got a solution. I want to help and to do this together. I want us to hold each other accountable for the changes we want to see within ourselves and within the world. I've chosen 12 sustainable lifestyle changes for you to adopt in the new year. I intentionally chose the number 12 because I wanted to allow you to move slowly and adopt one new practice per month if you choose to do so. To really commit to learning and growing throughout the year with these new lifestyle changes. Studies show that if we adopt one sustainable behavior, we are likely to continue making sustainable choices in the future. It is also a chance to dig deeper into your practice if you've already begun to adopt some of these sustainable life changes or even need a refresher. I don't want this to be hard for you. I want to make it really simple to start and or continue building on your knowledge and sustainable lifestyle. I also want to make it extremely clear as we go along the benefits of your investment to yourself, others, and the physical planet that we live on. I want to clarify that sustainable living is what you make it and that there are ways to make this accessible and affordable for you to make it make sense for your life. I'm also going to ask you to dig deeply into your why. 
I mentioned earlier some reasons that might drive you or motivate you to live a sustainable lifestyle. Keep digging into that and hold tight. Do what you can to remind yourself of your why, no matter what life brings. I'm going to ask you to not just focus on the result. We are not robots. Insert X practice here and compute happiness in the end result. We have to focus on the change within ourselves as we go along. Yes, I'm telling you to observe and enjoy the journey. Regularly check in to see how your actions towards your goals have made you feel, what benefits you or others have noticed, what changes you've seen in your life. Journal it and talk about it with others. So throughout the next year, you're not only going to walk away with one step, big or small, on how to take action towards a more sustainable lifestyle, but you will also broaden your mind around topics and continue to hear from real people and businesses who are on their journey trying to navigate what they can do to make less of an impact on our resources and treat people equitably while doing it. And we're also going to have some fun too, I promise. I am beyond excited about this. So without further ado, here are the 12 sustainable lifestyle changes we will work on adopting on each month throughout the following year. One, valuing the earth's soil. This means we're going to learn the basics of food waste and composting and the importance of soil health to our planet. Then we're going to move on to practicing better waste management. We're talking about recycling basics, microplastics, and hearing from companies doing really cool things in the recycling and waste management space. Number three, we're going to choose sustainable ethical clothing. We all wear it, so let's do it better. We will learn about sustainable fabrics and ethical labor practices and hear from companies that are making these choices a foundation of their business. After that, we're going to develop healthier food habits. So how our food systems interact with the health of the planet, others, and our own physical bodies, and how we can make healthier or alternative choices. Number five, we're going to spend more time in nature. I've talked about this a lot before. Still, we will hear more from companies who are doing great things to encourage sustainable nature interaction, as well as more about the wonders of our natural world and how you can deepen those connections. Number six, travel eco-friendly. We will discuss reducing our impact from day-to-day travel like commuting or running errands to more extensive travel. Then we're going to move on to creating an eco-friendly home. Here we'll talk about how you can create an eco-friendly home from the construction of products that you use in your home and energy conservation with examples from all over the world. Moving right along, we're going to get into developing community. This will be about building a sense of belonging and commitment to others. We will also learn about the role of politics, social services, and sustainable development within the context of community. Then we're going to broaden our perspective. This involves hearing from other people who will have a different life experience or background than your own and learning more about our role as humans on this earth. Ten, we're going to improve our consumer habits. Here we will learn more about improving our spending habits, who we bank with, buy from, and the effects of social influence on our consumer habits. 11, we're going to prioritize health. This will be reinforcing the importance of the connection between personal and planetary health. Facets of our mental and physical health concerning sustainability and the genealogy of green health. And finally, we're going to round it out at the end of the year by committing to living with intention. In the final month, we'll talk about how to deepen our intentions professionally and personally. 
realign with our values, and use your new knowledge to influence the rest of the world positively. Ah, This is going to be so much fun. Along with these lifestyle changes we will delve into on the podcast every month, I'll still provide you with bonus episodes from authors, artists, and more creatives to help keep us inspired and on track throughout the year. I will also be posting related content on my blog, lenasanford.com, so you can learn even more with each topic. There will be giveaways, fundraisers, and more throughout the year with some exclusive content only available to the online community. So be sure you're subscribed to receive Hometown Earth updates via email so you don't miss a thing. And stay connected with me and the rest of your neighbors on Hometown Earth through social media, via Facebook and Instagram, which I will link in the episode description. The fun has only begun, neighbors, and I can't wait to see where this journey takes us. Until next time, thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Hometown Earth as much as I did. Let us know by rating and subscribing so you never miss an episode. New episodes drop every week on Tuesday. Head to the show notes linked in the episode description for more details. And let us know in the comments what you want to hear next. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, or anywhere you listen to podcasts. Believe.com and at Believe Podcasts. And you can find more about the podcast on Instagram at Hometown Earth or connect with me personally personally at Lena Sainford. We all know change needs to happen. So let's get started right here at Hometown Earth.